Thank you, Hum Nutrition, for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I've missed you so much. You don't even understand. I hope that school or work or just life is going good, that you're happy, that you're eating yummy foods. And if you aren't doing the best, I feel you. And whatever it is, it will pass. You can do it. Today, I just really want to sit down and talk about something that's been on my mind. Attacking my mind may be a better way to put it. I'm just triggered at the world, at myself. I just need to express my frustrations out loud. Buckle up for some controversy, I guess? <sighs> Topic. The body positivity movement and weight gain. The body positivity movement on social media has evolved, has become huge in the past year. So this year I only have like two exams. This one is kind of like an essay style one, so I didn't really study. I'm not hungry, but you gotta feel brain energy. There's still a lot of toxicity and unrealistic expectations, but media and society, they just can't help it. There will always be trends and new beauty standards. That's unfortunately just life. Oop. Wow, wow, wow. People post color. Cilantro is so good with avocado toast. But there's been a huge surge in acceptance and diversity, people embracing their bodies, improving their relationships with food and themselves, focusing more on moments lived and not calories eaten. Beautiful, right? Normalizing all body types is a beautiful concept. This movement is so powerful because it breaks the stigma surrounding weight gain. It's celebrated because it finally recognizes individual beauty. But is it? Is it really? Is my body truly accepted? Is my weight gain actually deemed acceptable? Let me tell you. It does not feel this that is so way. so cute. Oh yeah. And it made me realize I can't be the only one that feels this. There are still unrealistic expectations. There are still acceptable mm. and not acceptable. They're just different now. And my brain is sick and tired and done. Ooh. Oh, this is so good. Can you try some noodles? Mm. Oh my God. You want to take a bite of this for your video? I go. You go first. No. For the content. No. It won't look good after the first bite. Always wanted one of these. What are these things? <laughs> These weight gain posts, confidence posts, dietitians left, right, and center saying things that, yeah, I've even said before. You can't live a full life on an empty stomach. Gaining weight was the best decision I ever made. I now embrace my curves because I can finally enjoy food and life. And okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, but it's just not that easy. That is a coffee game changer. Layla, you've changed my life. Wow. I'm about to be addicted to coffee now. I'm genuinely happy for the people I know who gained weight and found confidence in their new bodies, in their curves, and the fullness of truly living, because you do gain so much more in life and love and yourself than just some extra pounds. Life is fuller when you eat, when you don't let foods take over your life. Don't get me wrong, I'm so proud of the people who gained weight, even though it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. My baked oats never turn out as beautiful as they're supposed to. Because I've been there, feeling out of touch with yourself, low-key having an identity crisis every time I looked in the the mirror, having to face people knowing I didn't gain just a little bit of weight, but it looks like I gained an entire new person. Because I basically did. Weight gain on social media, at least from what I've seen, is only posted if you gain the right weight in the right places because of genetics that are so out of our control. Here you go, brother. Thank you. Nice. Weight gain feels mm. like it's only praised if you gained it in your butt and boobs and only if you got stronger at the gym. If you now have the energy to start a hobby or change the world. Weight gain is only positive if you didn't gain too much of it or too much of the wrong kind. Yeah. I'm tired of only seeing the perfect kind and perfect side of weight gain. Weight gain almost feels glamorized, romanticized, but the process of gaining weight isn't always beautiful. Mm. Wow. Wow. Calm down. Wow. So good. Before I continue my little rant, I think it's safe to say my mind has been a little bit all over the place. I think especially this time of year, it's hard on a lot of us. It's like normal everyday things like talking, moving, smiling, I don't know, gets overwhelmingly hard. It's annoying, but I also know this is when I have to be even kinder to myself. So I've been trying to add little things, happy touches, celebrating the bare minimum, the normal, and putting myself and my health first, which is basically just me doing more of what makes me feel my best at a time where 
where feeling my best seems way too difficult. It's me giving myself a round of applause every time I get in a workout, spend three hours reading instead of getting lost in my thoughts, eating my cravings and fueling even if I haven't moved at all all day, spending hours browsing new recipes I want to try because that's the most exciting part of my day right now. One of the easiest parts of my wellness routine these days and the most convenient and quickest thing that I do every morning to help me feel like I'm really taking care of myself is just taking my hum supplements every single day without a doubt. Guys, sometimes I just realize it's a simple little act that make the biggest impacts on my well-being and my confidence. It's also something my mom and I love to do together, which is too cute. She loves omega-3 fish oils, so we take it every day together. Fish oil, skin, heart, and body. Cute mother-daughter supplement bonding times. I don't know. It feels good to know you're taking care of yourself. Hum Nutrition has clinically proven nutrients formulated by experts. They're triple tested for purity, and they use 100% ocean-bound plastic bottles and sustainable packaging. I love that. Also, I've been trying to be nicer to my hair and my skin because I neglect them often. I'm terrible. So I did the hum three minute quiz and they matched me with the perfect supplements to stop being mean to my hair and skin. So I take Skin Squad or Daily Cleanse for my skin and Hair Sweet Hair to strengthen my hair. I literally love the gummies. They taste so good. So check out all the hum clean at Sephora products available at Sephora.com. There will be a link in the description for you guys. Like, how many times has it happened to you guys? Because it's happened to me way too many times when, like, the oatmeal just explodes over the side and then you just don't know what to do with your life. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do with this? Unfortunate. I can watch the sun rise over the mountains from this bed every morning. Hello, everyone. We're going to eat ramen. Anyways, back to my rant. All of it. It's just so frustrating. Oh, I feel like the media just makes us want all these things. They make a small waist and a big butt and long legs seem like something we can achieve if we work hard enough or buy the right protein powders or follow the right diet. Like the way my body looks is some sort of success, some sort of goal. We can't buy a small waist like we can buy a sweater or work really, really hard towards long lean legs like we can for 95% on an exam. We can't diet our way to a different bone structure. We can't gym our way to bigger boobs. Beauty ideals, weight gain expectations, body gym expectations. I'm so sick of it all. We're going skating soon, but chocolate pretzels first. Mm. I remember when I was trying to lose weight before, I wanted a smaller waist and thinner arms. But when I lost that weight, I also lost all my curves. And that wasn't trendy. And then I started to work out more. But I didn't just get a bigger butt because my arms were then too bulky and my thighs were too muscular. And that wasn't beautiful. I changed my diet, but I was so hungry. And that hurt me mentally and physically and emotionally more than anything. And then, oh my god, the trend changes. And then it starts all over again. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. We are in this constant cycle of almost feeling enough, but never truly being able to ever feel enough. Oh, you went so little. Why? Because they like me hitting our way through the beams. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Cover, cover. Cover? No. <laughs> That'll take forever. See, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get a seat. I'll get a seat. Don't worry. Don't worry. I could never fit in with the skinny trend, the athletic trend, the curvy trend, but that's my problem. Thinking my body was something to be fixed. Oh my god, that looks so good. When you make your body the problem because we just can't help it, we can never win. Because it wasn't a freaking competition to begin with. This is why we can't measure our worth, our happiness, our identity based on our bodies. It'll only lead to disappointment. If you're not happy with yourself, well, changing the way you look won't change your happiness. So this is my weight gain, the truth. My weight gain is in my lower tummy, under my arms, in my face, my fingers, my back, in the rolls when I sit down, when I work out, when I lie on my side, it's in all these extra parts of me that are hard to get used to. It's not in my boobs, like literally none. It's actually kind of funny, like how is that even possible? It's so moist. None of it is in my thighs, so no hourglass vibes from me and like 1% maybe in my butt. Actually 0.5%. That's just my body. 
first time ripping. Tastes like Christmas. This is a jam cookie. Mm, why do you like this one? There we go. Wow. Oh my god. Beast. Whoa. <gasps> I'm gonna take one of mommy's broccoli. Sit. And one of her mushrooms. Gotta have some bread, guys. Guys, look how delicious this looks. Oh my god. Oh, like something Texas. Oh, guys, mom. In the past. Mm. Okay, not many people are out here. It's so good. So cool. Love having leftover calamari and bread for breakfast. I felt really ashamed of how I gained weight, where I gained it, why the weight didn't go where it was acceptable. But just like weight loss, the ideals, the perfect body, it's the same difference. It's still just an unrealistic expectation of our bodies that we have to fight because I'm not her. My body is mine. My relationship with food has been and will be uniquely different. I know what is healthy and what is not for my life. Healthy simply just looks different on everyone. Merry Christmas! Hello? What's this? Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay. Well, yes, I only wear certain pants now because I physically cannot get into my whole jeans. I hate wearing tank tops because I've never seen my arms this big. I hate editing myself sometimes because I'm always so shocked at how much I've changed. That's the truth. But am I gonna stop? No, because my body doesn't define me and because all these feelings inside my head, the bad body image days, the everyday identity crisis is worth the good. The energy to actually do stuff that's not just planning my next meal. Stronger hair, better moods, donuts and ice cream and real sugar. My mind isn't obsessed over food and I can actually think about literally everything that needs to be thought about and not just what I'm gonna eat next. I can say yes to hangouts. I can live without guilt and rules and obsessing about what other people are or are not eating. Hey, which cinnamon roll do you want, brother? the middle. Holy, look how fluffy. Wow. Your the color is perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Going in for round two. If you're feeling ashamed or annoyed or frustrated or confused, you're not alone. And it's not easy, but it is worth it. And screw the expectations. You're allowed to eat. There's 100% too much food here. Wow, wow, wow. You know that saying, if you don't eat, you can't grow? Screw that. You deserve to eat even if you aren't lifting weights or want to see gains in the gym or if you haven't worked out in half a year, you deserve to eat. Mm. Ooh, this looks good. Merry Christmas! Mm -hmm. Oh, a fried green bean. Mm, not bad. Gingerbread time. I feel like I'm in surgery. Massage icing for one to two minutes. Oh. Pipe a line of icing over the embroidered. Oh, baby. Oh. Huh? Oh! Oh, I made massage a whole on you. It's you, off. <laughs> Wait 15 minutes before decorating. <laughs> oh, now he's like a little slanted. That's okay. Nothing perfect. One minute. Okay, 15 minutes. It's so excessive. Not too bad. Not too good either. Why is your head shaking? <laughs> Bro, I just had a surgery. Why are we like artists? So much talent. I'm just so good at this. It basically looks the exact same. <laughs> 
Holy shit, I'm so talented. You're killing the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Now I understand why no one eats the gingerbread. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> frustrating because it's frustrating. Like, I hate that it still bothers me. It's annoying because you feel like you can't escape how your mind has been programmed and trained to think for so long. It can feel like we're going backwards, that we haven't grown at all, that we're stuck in our old ways, but we are not who we were because I now know how to continue loving and respecting my body even when I'm frustrated with it. Sit back and realize how many things your body is supposed to do for you. <gasps> going on an adventure. Sorry, Miley, you are not coming with me. You know that feeling where like you for know you forgot something, you just have like absolutely no idea? I have my laptop, I have my phone, I have pants. Hey! Let me say hi. Okay, we're done. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Your body's job is not meant to look perfect. Its job is not to look pretty. Its job is to keep you alive, take you through life, experience and taste and feel a lifetime of things. Tons and tons of stuff are happening inside of our bodies that we literally never think of. Think of everything that your body gives you, not everything you think it lacks. It's really good. I love the raspberry. Really? Mm. I love the raspberry. Mm. No, really? Yeah! Hi, Ra! Our bodies are supposed to change day to day. Season to season, we fluctuate and we adapt, and that's more amazing than it is an inconvenience. Mm. Mm. I love puzzles. I've been puzzling too. Me too, it's like mostly pink. It says, oh my gord. It has gourds all over it. What are gourds? Are they animals? They're like pumpkin things. Why are the gourds pink? I'll accept it. Hey, please help her. Like little like pumpkin y things. They're like not pumpkins, but they are. Mm, I would never have known that. This looks like a, a hulu. That's what we call it in Chinese. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've been missing out. A hazelnut and caramel with creamy nougat. Nougat, cheers. Oh. Mm. Wait, can you put my head through the whole thing? Oh. Okay, I really am doing a poor job of the cutting. I was thinking of the new thing. Okay, attack. Cheers. cheers. Oh, oh, I look really good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> When I'm being hard on my body for not living up to the weird, unrealistic, ever-shifting ideals in my head, I remind myself of my strength instead. It's not everyone's thing, lifting weights and going to the gym, but strength should be everyone's thing. Because strength isn't just physical. I mean the strength to choose yourself, to take steps to heal your damaged relationships with food. Strength to accept a new version, a better version of yourself. The strength to choose energy, happiness, and feeling alive over feeling in control. That takes real strength. <laughs> Workout complete. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh, just keep doing that. Hey, I bet you it's gonna goose. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it goose goose. It's really good. I like the crunchiness. I like the jelly part. Yeah, this is strawberry champagne creme brulee with gold sparkle luster dust. Definitely tastes like it. Yeah. Yay, calling when adventures begin! Strong feels better than being hungry does, or weight loss does, or measuring all your food does. There's different types of strong for different types of bodies and different types of lives. And that's pretty cool. I have to change the goal sometimes. The goal is not to change or to finally fit back into my pants. Be candid and talk to each other. Or to get the flattest stomach of all. My goal at the end of the day is just to be nicer to myself. Moving my body because it makes my head clearer. Eating sweets and going out because I love it and I love spending time with my friends. Eating whole and fresh foods because I feel so much better and happier and more satisfied. And just not being so hard on myself for being human. Like yes, okay, I'm sad. It's okay. Yes, I'm insecure sometimes. It's okay. Yes, I ate all the cookies I wanted to. I deserve it, and it's okay. Like, look at this video. A compilation of not only food, but the memories made around that food. Food is not only meant to be nourishing, but it's about living. Never let food get in the way of life. Taco cheer. The goal should be to implement more actions to make me happier. Foods that fuel my body, more kinds of movement that help me feel strong. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you get down to your level? Oh my god. Uh -huh. Drooling. Oh, wait, look at that one oh. Travis. Stop biting. Oh, yeah, crunch. Ah. 
I don't know who invented Beaver Tail, but like they deserve an award. The goal is about more love, more memories, more food, more self care, not less. Health is not a body, health is not a diet, health is not a perfect, consistent workout plan. Pretty in my head. A healthy life is absurdly complex, guys. It's not even close to just how healthy you look, how big your biceps or bum is, how many times you smile. Okay, I would cut my thumb off if I did that. Packing the car. Beautiful day. Ready to shred. Sometimes health looks like gentle or no movement for rest and recovery. It looks like bawling your eyes out to accept your feelings. It's setting boundaries with friends or baking cookies at 1 a.m. while singing Taylor Swift. Health can be something different every day, and that's okay. <laughs> Lemon water, a cinnamon bun, deleting apps, meal plans, intuitive eating, reaching out to make plans first. It's not meant to be compared, not meant to look the same. No wonder we are disappointed all the time. You will never feel accepted in a world like this one if you don't learn to accept yourself first. You are so much more than what your body looks like to you. You are incredible and talented and kind-hearted and beautiful regardless of the ways our bodies may have changed. Freaking remember that. Oh my god. I'm tired of people giving up living their best life or thinking they have to give up foods and meals and events they love because of what society has ingrained in us as beautiful and acceptable and right. What is that face? What would you rate it? Pretty sour. <laughs> I'm sick of people finally living the full and rich and fun and beautiful lives they've dreamed of living and thinking it's wrong because their bodies then change. Of course your body changed. You're finally alive. Hmm. It's 11 11. Make a wish. Life is too short to allow this constructed illusion of beauty take the beautiful parts of it away. Oh, it's only 36 beautiful parts. Oh my god! Oh, You deserve a full life, filled with confidence, love, self-compassion, dessert, restaurant foods, drinks, hangover pizza, dinner dates, whatever it is that makes you happy. Go freaking do it. Thank you Hum Nutrition for sponsoring today's video.